have your way Would you give up or try again If I hesitate to let you in Now would you be yourself or play a role Tell all the boys I'll keep it low If I say no, would you turn away Or play me off or would you stay up Hey everyone, it is Carla. Today I will be sharing with you guys my Aaliyah inspired makeup, hair, and outfit. I'm entering the Mac for Aaliyah A to Z. I think it's called, let me see what it's called. It's the hashtag Aaliyah for Mac, hashtag A to Z of Aaliyah Mac contest. And if I win, I will get flown to New York and get to be in the video. Literally, Aaliyah is my favorite artist of all time. One of a Million is my favorite song of all time. It has been my favorite song of all time. I would love to be in this video. Please help me out by going on my Instagram page and following me and liking the post of the Aaliyah post. You will see them because it will be looking like Aaliyah and not my normal pictures. But let's get into it. I'm making the makeup look inspired by this one photo. All she has on really is eyeliner and lip gloss. I feel like Aaliyah always kept it simple with the makeup. But yeah, it's inspired by this picture so you guys see how simple it is. So by the way, this is the glow because Aaliyah touched millions around the world. And her light and her sparkle and her just energy just touch so many people so that's why I put this globe here but let's start I'm gonna use the Smashbox photo finish primer literally I'm keeping this look ugh, so simple for y'all okay so now we're gonna go in with our foundation y'all already know I'm using the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Taking my damp beauty sponge, I'm going to blend it out. But yeah, you guys, um, please go on my Instagram page and like the Aaliyah post to help me and hashtag the A to Z Aaliyah. I'll put on the screen and the other hashtag in the comments to help me out. I would really appreciate it. Also share it with your friends. It would help me out so, so much. And if you do, just DM me and be like, hey, I shared it and I'll like, like your pictures, leave some comments on your Instagram or something because I really love to be a part of this video. It's like legendary, like what? But yeah, just go to my Instagram page. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen again and just like my contest entry photo and you guys will see the hashtags on the post. Then go in the comments and leave the hashtags on the post and like it and share with your friends, okay? Okay, so we're moving on to our eyes, which is literally super simple. I'm gonna just put on some Laura Mercier translucent powder. And as a matter of a fact, I'm gonna finish up my concealer on my face. The concealer that I use is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I double it up as a concealer. And now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Truffle Match Stick and use this to conceal my cheekbones. And I put a cream on first. I just like to do it like that. And let's see, I take my this angled brush by Real Techniques. I'm not sure which one it is. I wish Real Techniques would put like numbers or names on their brushes, but they don't. But we're just going to blend it out and I like to press and brush a little bit. So then from there, just make sure there's no creases underneath our eyes. And we're going to take our Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and we're going to set underneath our eyes now. All right, so now to set our eyes and our under our eyelids and our under eyes more, we're going into the Anastasia Contour Kit. 
This is in the color medium to tan. I will be taking this light shade and this even lighter shade and I'm putting it on my eyelids as well as my under eyes. Like so, just like how we did the translucent setting powder. Just to set it with some color. Now for eyes, since in that picture Leah just has on really eyeliner, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism um, eyeshadow palette. And I'm just going to take the black color in it, like right here. And I'm just going to line it on my upper uh, lash line. And using eyeshadow is easier for me personally. It's just fast, simple. But now that that eyeliner is on, I'm just going to put on some false lashes real quick. I'm using these Ardell Wispies that I've been wearing for a minute. They're like one of my favorite style Wispies. They look like this. I will even link down below my contest entry in the description box directly on my Instagram page. So you can click it, go to it, comment on it, like it, support it, and all of zats. Because seriously, aren't these lashes cute though? Because <laughs> seriously, I'm trying to possibly have a chance at winning. I'm going to go in with my Ch Sephora pressed powder in the color Toffee Peach and just set the rest of my face makeup. And I'll be sharing with you guys two outfits, two outfits. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go in to my contour kit again. We're going to take this contour brush and contour out the cheeks. And then I'm taking the darker color and deepening it up a little bit more to really contour it right where my cheekbone like begins up here. For blusher, we're going into the Anastasia Blush Trio in Berry Adore. I'm going to take the color, let's see, Velvet, which is this dark color, and use that as our blusher. Oops. I feel like back in the day, they used like darker blush. For brows, I use the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the color Chocolate. I'm gonna use both the darker and lighter shades. I'm gonna look at a picture of Aaliyah's brows because I feel like I can duplicate them. So I'm gonna try to make them look like this picture. It's already similar to the shape of mine, to be honest. I don't have to do really anything different, really. Because her brows look kind of darker in this image, I'm really just going to use just the dark brown in this. And she doesn't really have a fade in her brows either, because I normally have like more of a fade in my brows, but that's like the only difference really in my brows than what I normally do. I'm highlighting. So now I'm going to just highlight my cheeks. I'm gonna highlight my chin a little bit, right above my brow bone. And then we're also going to just put some on the nose. I'm gonna put it right here, as well as on the bridge. And this is perfect. I'm going to use some setting spray. This is the Urban Decay setting spray. And I'm also going to spray on some rose water spray just to make everything look more natural.
For lashes, I'm using the Urban Decay Perversion. This mascara is a life. Since I've already worn these lashes, I'm not going to coat them with any more mascara. All right, so I'm going to put on some Carmax to make sure my lips are moisturized. And Aaliyah always tended to have on a brown lip or like a brown hue to her lip as well. So I'm going to line my lips with MAC cork lip liner this is my favorite lip liner it is cork by mac and it is in b26 and draw this in a little bit rub it in a little bit and then we are going to top it off with the Maybelline Shine Shot Glossy uh, Lip Gloss. And this is super shiny. So let's get into this hair uh, style. So I'm just using this white bandana here. And I'm taking my comb, I mean, not my comb, my brush, detangling brush, and just brushing. We're just gonna put this on. I wanna make sure I don't make it too tight. Yeah, hers is on really tight in this picture anyways. Let's just put this on tighter. Okay, it is accessory time, and then we're going to get into our outfits. Ooh, you can't be an inspired Aaliyah outfit without the accessories. I thrifted all of these accessories. By the way, my earrings are from Forever 21, and my bandana is from Walmart. <laughs> yeah. And then I got a lot of stuff from a lot of different places but you guys will see that when I talk about the outfits more I love how these jewelry pieces aren't too shiny so it's like believable to be from the 90s and then I got these really good classic Aaliyah glasses she wore these a lot these type of glasses from JCPenney's like here she's wearing like some dark black glasses like that um oh my gosh we got it right here all right, you guys, so this is the first outfit. My favorite outfit is the second one, so definitely stay for that. But I have on the jewelry I already mentioned, I'm wearing a tank top from Forever 21. This, as well as my bottoms and underwear from Burlington Coat Factory, and my shoes are from Burlington Coat Factory. So everything I'm wearing is from Burlington Coat Factory, except for my shirt, which is from Forever 21. And it pulls together as a classic Aaliyah outfit and then you could even wear it without this on top of it and it will still look like a cool Aaliyah fit so and my shoes are fresh and Puma and I like how these got like low pockets on the side too all right you guys so here's outfit number two this is my favorite outfit we are wearing well I'm wearing a jacket that is thrifted but this brand is super raw I feel like they used to wear this a lot back in the day I put on a necklace from Charming Charlie's I have on a shirt same shirt from last outfit but a different color from forever 21 my Tommy Hilfiger underwear these are actually a size large I got them from Marshall's I got my belt Michael Kors from Marshall's as well my pants are Calvin Klein from TJ Maxx and then my shoes I'm wearing are just some Ugg boots that I picked up from Journeys all right you guys so that is the whole uh, fit uh, this is the second Aaliyah inspired fit I also pair this with these glasses that I got from JC Penney's but they're very Aaliyah uh, vibes let me know in the comments which one's your favorite go on my instagram i'm gonna pop it on the screen one more time like that post support it leave a comment the hashtags in the comments of that post help me out thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're new to my channel for more videos like this make tutorials get ready with me's outfit ideas try on hauls advice videos i literally do so much on this channel and i will catch you in my next one bye you guys <laughs>
these are not her moves. Oh. Black Barbie, pretty face, perfect.